And with that comes, you're on the Colbert Report. At the peak of the popularity of the Colbert Report, you are on the Colbert Report. Walk the audience through just what is that kind of shift for you when you had to go through that shift and, and you're the voice and you become kind of the Steve Jobs, Bill Gates of online education and any kind of fun insights that you might have had from the Colbert Report or being on all these other media outlets. <laughs> it's funny you bring it up, but uh, uh, you know I've been teaching at MIT for uh, you know 32 years now, and uh, for the past eight years I've been uh, uh, leading edX. And uh, you know for us professors, uh, you know we firmly believe that education is a human right. And to the extent that we can help make it available to students all over the world and get the word out that that's very important to us. And so uh, being on the Colbert Report was actually great when, uh, uh, so we thought it was a great opportunity to get the word out to people. Uh, it was in the early days of edX and uh, uh, and following the Colbert Report show, uh, we got what was called the uh, Colbert Bump, where <laughs> we had uh, hundreds of thousands of new students come to edX because of that. And the Colbert show itself was very, very exciting. And then for the prep for that show, I mean, were any of the questions that maybe the team helped you prep for even close to what he asked? I'm guessing maybe not, that they're just so out of left field. Oh, it, 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 everything was completely out of left field. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, I, I'll tell you the first question he asked was, I come in there and uh, you know, I thought he was going to be somewhat serious to start, but he hits me and it hits me like a two by four. He says, so are you the new University of Phoenix? And I was dumbfounded. So uh, on, at edX, we prided ourselves on being a nonprofit. Uh, we were online, uh, founded by extremely high quality universities like MIT and Harvard. Uh, you know, a, a Berkeley was a third partner and University of Texas system was a fourth partner. So quality and quality education was built into our uh, DNA. And then this question comes from uh, left field. And so uh, I certainly was uh, completely taken aback by that. <laughs> so. Uh, 